What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. All right, so in the 2023 version of SketchUp, they released a new tool called the Flip Tool for flipping objects. I'm gonna get you in depth and show you some secret functions of this tool that a lot of people don't know about. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we're gonna be using the Cube Cafe model from AP in the 3D warehouse if you wanna download and follow along. And so a lot of people know that SketchUp 2023 added the new Flip Tool, which you can access either on the top bar here or in the large tool set. And so you can activate that tool by selecting an object, clicking on the Flip Tool, and then it gives you these different planes, just like this. And so when you click on these different planes, what it's going to do is it's going to flip the object along the planes like this, right? And that's very useful, but there's a lot of things this tool can do that a lot of people don't know about. And so the first thing that this tool can do that a lot of people don't know about is you can actually click and drag the plane in order to place it and flip an object more precisely. So notice if I click and drag this, I can drag it over the midpoint of this table right here in order to quickly flip that object. Now, one of the cool things about that is that plane actually remains in place right here. So as long as I click on this plane, it's going to stay in that location. So you can use this in order to set where objects are going to flip along really quickly. And so that's cool, but in this case, we don't wanna flip this object what we wanna do instead is we wanna take this object, activate the flip tool, and we actually need another sofa over here. Well, notice if you click and drag right here, then you tap the control key, this is gonna add a little plus. When it adds a little plus, this is going to flip the object along the plane that you've selected, but it's going to create a copy. So you can use this in order to really quickly create copies of objects in SketchUp as well using the mirror tool. And so this tool also gives you the ability to not only click on a plane in order to flip it, you can also use the arrow keys. So you can tap the left, right, and up arrow keys in order to flip an object inside of your scene. So if you wanna flip something quickly, you can just select it, activate the tool, and then tap one of the arrow keys to flip an object. And so sometimes your objects are off axis, right? What that means is that means that they don't face in the same direction as the model axes, right? So if I draw a line, I can see that my axes go in this direction like this. But the orientation of this object makes this so it doesn't necessarily do what we want it to do, right? So if we come in here, we tap the flip tool, notice how there's two different ways that we can affect the object orientation. You can either use the global axis or the local axis. And so if I tap the alt key, I can switch between the two. So notice how the global axis is facing this direction like this. And sometimes you're going to want to be able to flip objects along that global axis, right? But for this object in particular, we don't want that. We want to be able to flip this object based on its local axes, which are the axes that are defined inside of this component. So when we activate the flip tool, if you tap the alt key, notice how this is going to give us the ability to take this object and flip it along the local axes right here. And you can see the uh, texture flipping with this. Um, this object's pretty symmetrical, so mirroring it across the central point doesn't necessarily make sense. But you can use this in order to adjust that axis so that you can actually flip based on the local axis of an object. So if you feel like you need a little bit more help learning SketchUp, make sure you check out my course at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. There's a ton of instruction in there as well as live calls in a community forum so you can make sure that your questions are gonna get answered. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.